Yo, how are you guys? Uh, thank you so much for joining me as we are here to set our minds on things above. And uh, man, I am excited for this one today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you are not already there, I would ask that you open your Bibles to um, the 103rd Psalm. Uh, the 103rd Psalm, and we will be looking at verses 8 through 19. I was going to try to cut it a little shorter and just stop at 14, but I just really like it all the way down through verse 19. So uh, Psalm 103, starting in verse 8. Let's go ahead and uh, start reading there. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in faithful love. He will not always accuse us or be angry forever. He has not dealt with us as our sins deserve or repaid us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his faithful love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows what we are made of, remembering that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He blooms like a flower of the field. When the wind passes over it, it vanishes and its place is no longer known. But from eternity to eternity, the Lord's faithful love is toward those who fear him, and his righteousness toward the grandchildren of those who keep his covenant, who remember to observe his precepts. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Hallelujah. And not just Yahweh, but also Jesus and the Holy Spirit, as all three of them work in our lives and our salvation. Man, just a great passage of scripture. This is just one of my favorite passages of scripture. Um, you know, if you guys ever have any, you know, suggestions, I'll, I'll take your suggestions of uh, whether texts or subjects or, you know, whatever you're interested in. I'll try to go through those. Normally, I just uh, pick things that are interesting to me um, or things that I've been working on, uh, things that, you know, maybe they... Um, you know, maybe uh, maybe I've heard something uh, like um, like yesterday's. I actually heard something, and it, it uh, you know compelled me to uh, or motivated me. I was compelled to uh, to do the talk that I did yesterday, um, and so uh, man, I just love this passage of scripture. Um, verse eight: The Lord is compassionate and gracious. He is merciful. He is uh, gracious. He shows his favor to us. He is slow to anger, and man, we should be grateful for that. Um, I know I am. I'm so grateful for um, him being slow to anger, for his long suffering, for his patience, uh, because uh, I sin, you know, uh, man, I sin too often. Uh, I'm not the kind of person that God deserves to worship him, um, and, uh, and uh, you know, if it wasn't uh, for his, uh, you know, his long suffering, um, I, I'm assuming I'd be dead right now. You know, I'm sure I'm sure he'd already uh, have you know send me to hell. And so, um, so I am grateful for uh, the fact that he is slow to anger and that he is abounding in faithful love. He is faithful even when we are not. There are times that we show a lack of love for him, um, the times that we sin, and yet his love towards us is faithful, um, and we should praise him for that. Be thankful for that. He will not always accuse us or be angry forever. Um, he will accuse us and be angry when we sin. And if we do not repent of those sins, he will accuse us and he will be angry. And rightfully so, because he gets to make the rules and he says what's sinful and what's not. And so he should be angry with us. He should accuse us and hold us accountable um, for those sins. Uh, but if we come to him in repentance and confession and faith, uh, he will not deal with us according to uh, what we deserve. Verse 10 says, He has not dealt with us as our sins deserve. What do we deserve? We deserve hell. That is what mercy is. Uh, in, a, in, a, in an elementary definition, I would say that grace, I want to make sure I don't get this confused, that grace is getting what we don't deserve, and mercy is not getting what we do deserve. Grace is getting what we don't deserve, which is his favor. But mercy um, is not getting what we do deserve, which is hell. Um, and so uh, he has not dealt with us as our sins deserve or repaid us according to our iniquities because we deserve death. Um, uh, Romans 6.23 says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. You earn wages. When we sin, we earn the wages of death. 
but gifts are something that we cannot earn. Rather, we um, accept gifts, uh, and, uh, and the gift of God is eternal salvation in Jesus Christ. Praise God. Verse 11, For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his faithful love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Uh, I know a lot of you probably see my tattoo right here, and, uh, and that's actually what this tattoo symbolizes. Um, as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his faithful love towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Uh, man, you think, can't even imagine just, just how high he is above us right now. And, and how far if you could go as you just keep going, you know, from the east to the west. And uh, that is how far he has removed our sins from us when we come to faith in Jesus Christ. Um, verse 13, as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. Um, a good father, a godly father, will have compassion, will have mercy, will have pity on his children and not be, uh, you know, not be so quick to uh, to you know nag them or uh, or you know rile them up you know um, but uh, uh, maybe not even so quick to spank you know but but rather show mercy as long as as long as possible but of course then a judgment comes you know but uh, but but mostly we are merciful and so is God God is merciful He is compassionate um, and uh, and why is that Well verse fourteen says that He knows what we're made of. After all, he created us. He remembers that we are just dust, that he created us. He knew we were going to be imperfect and even hypocritical at times, and we were going to make mistakes as well as sin against him. I do believe mistakes and sins are different, and I don't want to water down sins by calling them mistakes. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, in verse 15, right off of verse 14, I think, I think it's continuing the same idea here. Verse 15 says, As for man, his days are like grass. He blooms like a flower of the field. When the wind passes over it, it vanishes, and its place is no longer known. We're just made of dust. We are. This is saying we're temporary. Uh, we were. We uh, we had a beginning. God never had a beginning. We will. We're we're gonna live after this life, but we're gonna die in this life. And so, in that sense, we're we're temporary. And so, um, but yet God has always been. He is, and He always will be. Um, and verse. That's what verse 17 says. From eternity. To eternity, the Lord's faithful love is toward those who fear him, and his righteousness toward the grandchildren of those who keep his covenant, who remember to observe his precepts. Again, he is, he is eternal, and his faithful love is towards those of us who fear him, who show him respect, the reverence, the awe that is due him, uh, because he is Lord over all. Um, you know, he, he shows righteousness toward uh, generation after generation when we are... We're trying to serve him, trying to obey him, building our relationships with him, and he is more than happy to uh, to bless us um, with his righteousness um, as long as we are observing his commands. Verse 19, the Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. God is king, and God then gets to make the rules, not us. And so we have to do what God says to do. And, uh, and don't misunderstand me. This isn't, no, this isn't any kind of checklist. Um, this is building a relationship with God. Just as, as a child, um, I should want to obey my parents, especially when I was younger, want to obey them. And now that I'm out of the house and I'm grown up, I mean, even now still want to show them honor as I'm commanded to. And it should be the same way as, uh, as we look at God as our Father. Um, and, uh, you know, seeing that He loves us, He has compassion on us, He's our Heavenly Father. And we should want to obey Him, and we should want to honor Him uh, with the choices that we make in this life, the things that we say, the things that we do, and even before that, when it starts in our mind and in our heart. Um, so, uh, but also remembering that He's not just a Father, but also a King, and that in that sense we should uh, treat Him um, with, with reverence, that um, we should show Him uh, that awe that is due Him and, uh, and all of His majesty and splendor and royalty. Um, and so... Man, let's just exalt God because God is over all. God is over everything, creator of all, um, and uh, we praise him for that. So that is all that I have uh, for this lesson. I hope that uh, this was enjoyable for you. hope that you benefited from it and, uh, and that you uh, got a better appreciation for God and his forgiveness um, because uh, without God, we'd all be in hell. Um, without Jesus' uh, you know, willingness to make atonement for our sins on the cross, 
we'd all be in hell. And if it wasn't the Holy Spirit working in, uh, in Jesus' ministry, you can see when you look through scriptures that, that the Holy Spirit is there from, from his conception uh, to his resurrection, you know, from the womb to the tomb, um, from uh, his descension to his ascension, however you want to look at that. But uh, the Holy Spirit was there working too, and he's still working through God's word, what I'm delivering to you right now. This is the Holy Spirit. And if you are convicted, that is the Holy Spirit working in you, and, uh, and we praise him for that. So, Allow this to motivate you um, to uh, appreciate his forgiveness more and, uh, and to do better for him, being zealous for good works. Thank you so much for joining me as we are here uh, to set our minds on things above. And uh, let me know if you have any uh, you know, comments or questions or disagreements. Okay. Thank you so much. Until next time, love you guys.